Hey guys, in today's video we'll be talking about Fluffy Tail Crossel, one of uh, the most toxic things in the game you can honestly play. I'm gonna go over how you play it, so the gist of it is you want to invade your opponent's slot, be on their side, run away with Tail Smash and just Fluffy Tail objectives and the enemy camps. So these are the head items in this game. Currently running Scope Lens, Focus Band, Score Shield. In case you don't know, all of Crusher's abilities crit. So since you play Stealth Rock, it has a lot of ticks. It can crit for sometimes 1000 damage. Focus Band, because we are a uh, tank. And uh, Score Shield, because we are gonna be capping love points. We already got like a kill very fast. Um, gonna be very aggressive here with Fluffy Tail really early game. Just trying to steal and get the last hits. Maybe Fluffy Tail hit fast, get level 4 already. Take ourselves of the camp. So my Lucario was very aggressive from the start on, which gave me some time to do my own things. Um, Fury Cut does your early game last hitting, together maybe with Fury, Fury Tail, um, Fluffy Tail, sorry. <laughs> and yeah, we were looking to counter and bait the enemies a lot. So what you want to do is already know when the first buffs are going to respawn of the enemy team. And also look for some early caps just for some experience. We want to kind of get level 6 as fast as possible. But already here, I'm already looking to invade the jungler, the enemy central laner. The thing is, people don't really pay much attention to their buffs and their tunnel vision very hard on fighting in lanes, which gives me a lot of time. So I'm just waiting here. I know it's going to respawn at around 8.30. And so I'm just fluffy telling this, doing it very fast. And you can see the enemy Zaora is busy on bot lane because he just wants to fight and he doesn't recall for his buffs. So my, the Cinder is actually saw me in the jungle, but uh, I'm still just going to... Have the better last hit, so we take it and we just run away with Shay Smash. Uh, see this up as well, so we take it first. And uh, we just we just play around. Like when, as soon as we get Stealth Rock, we just try to farm as much as we can, get all the things. Um, I should have probably scored here, but I thought he would probably kill my score sheet in time. He actually blinks on me here. Um, there's just no way. This is this is nerfed Sivion, and uh, Mystic Fire got nerfed by quite a lot. When you fight others for um, neutral camps like there, just fluffy tail it and secure it very easily. Without any issues. And now we just, yeah. Britain is spawning soon. And again, I just took their buffs, so I know they will respawn, right? So it's 7.40, I'm already on my way and back into their central, back to their buffs. And I'm just looking for them. So you just want, you just want to be as annoying as possible. That's why I call it, like, it's a very toxic playstyle. You are just trying to make the opponents just as annoying as possible. Here again, Fluffy Tail, he even almost dies to my Stealth Rock. And he just he just can't really do much about it, right? Like it just fluffy tailor doesn't really have damage to contest it. So we take both buffs again. We're already level eight now as a top lane crosser. Just because we got four of their buffs. So this can happen so easily, because again, the enemy center uh, center players are just not aware of their buff respawns. So if you're aware of them, you can uh, get a lot of value out of it. So normally I actually split push top lane, but since I have such a big lead, I'm actually helping my team to secure Dreadnought potentially. Here we hit a big stealth rock. And yeah, so I'm just trying to get level 9 right now. I'm I should probably not fluffy tail this, I just want level 9 as fast as possible so I can force a fight. Um, if I was level 7 or 6 right now, I probably would have stayed top lane and just farmed all the minions up there. Because Trust is not that good in team fighting with this build. But when I have my ultimate and fluffy tail, I can actually go secure these. So I'm just going to start this right now. Fluffy tail in 8 seconds. Stealth Rock clears it very fast. They run into me, so I just ultimate them. Kill their Zaora. aura. Um, actually, my Lucari just bursted there, so very, well done by him. I almost have my Fluffy Tail up, so we could have also waited for that, but Lucario was smart enough to just use his ultimate to secure it. And yeah, now we start capping again, and we see their buffs up in their jungle again, right? So we just take a small detour and see if we can get some more things. This time, the buffs are actually gone, so one of them did pay attention, and this time did their buffs before they got stoned again. And as you can see, you can just you can just head smash and just run away from your opponents very fast. That's why you don't need the eject button, and that's why you play Fluffy Tail. Since you actually just don't need the eject button. We actually have a DC right now, so I'm just deciding to take one of our buffs very fast. Actually, the entire top side is up. Probably it shouldn't be me farming it, but I don't really mind. There's nothing really going on, so I'm just taking all the experience I can, because why not? If no one else takes it, it gets wasted, right? So, um, But the main characters in this game should be Sharizard and Greninja taking those. And yeah. And but since we have such like normally I just keep split pushing with this, but since we have such a huge lead as well, um, I just decided to team fight a bit more. And yeah. Walk into the jungle once again. I just see one of the buffs respawned. So 
You also always want to fluffy tail this guy, otherwise he might just run out of your stealth rock. So I try to always fluffy tail when I have stealth rock, fluffy tail the uh, this buff camp. Yeah, I just I just didn't want to die to uh, Cinderace because comeback experience would have been huge. I would have probably given him like two levels of experience if I died there. So using your ultimate there is, is okay. Um, again, I'm not really a teamfight character. Like I want to use my ultimate to survive or to score with. Since you have score sheet, you can look for ultimate into uh, capturing late game as well. We still have VDC, it's still 4v5, but we just have so much pressure on the map that it doesn't even, like, the enemies don't even notice that we're <laughs> one less person just because I'm creating so much pressure. And then, yeah, people just don't even see the stealth rock sometimes as well. And again, this ability can crit, which is hilarious. It can do, like, sometimes 1,000 damage. And uh, <laughs> you just don't expect it. It's just, like, this small circle on the ground that does damage over time. Also helps you, like, clearing Zapdos or Dreadnoughts very fast. He's one of the best characters at taking these objectives fast. We just stealth rock this. They see the 800 crit, 900 crit. Um... It's still debatable if it's, it's really worth taking for, but uh, I still find like those crits are hilarious. Again, we have Fluffy Tail, we have Fluffy Tail. Now my Lucario again did the same thing again, but we done by him, ultimating, unite moving, the Dreadnought before it gets down. Um, if you actually use your ultimate as Lucario on someone, it actually does a lot of damage. It just does no damage if it flies onto someone. But if you cast it directly on something, then it's very strong. Here we see the buffs are up again. Um, promise I'm kind of low, but I, I'm still taking this. Here get a bit, I get a bit too greedy, so like now the jump heads are up, so people can actually jump into their own jungle, right? So I'm trying to run away, I, have sh I still have Shell Smash, I'm very fast, but try to juke him a bit with the boost speed, but couldn't quite make it, so I actually die, finally. They finally got the Toxic Crustle. Um, but yeah, so when you're not this far ahead, like normally I wouldn't be this far ahead, right? This game just went perfect, we got every Dreadnought, I got so many of their buffs, so I just have a huge level lead. If you don't have this big of a level lead, you mostly just live on the enemy side of the map still, but you try to get, go for more scores, right? Like, I barely went for scores in this game, um, but I didn't really have to. Since, again, level lead, I should be able to fight the opponents. Yeah. It would be easier to fight them if I had X scissors, but again, we play Stealth Rock just because it does these minions so fast, which means we can actually, we're actually able to clear neutral camps very fast as a defender. And now it's like slowly getting to Zepto, so then now I finally decided oh, let's just try to start capping things and try to get some points. Um, often the opponents aren't even aware of it. I do not want to cap here though, because I kind of want to wait before Zepto spawns. So I'm just taking their buffs again, maybe get level 14. Fluffy tail this again, clear it fast. And I just hope that maybe Cinderace doesn't pay attention and go for a cheeky cap. Which, he does pay attention, but it's not a big deal, like, again, I just... Okay, I kind of wanted to ulti- I didn't, probably didn't have to- actually, I didn't have to ultimate, yeah. But again, we just actually just made this in days with our ultimate, and we actually dodged Charizard ultimate by pressing Shell Smash. But they're actually everywhere. Um, I tried to just cap it somewhere, but but you can see, I would just run away. It's not even a big deal. Problem is, I use my ultimate, and Zapdos is spawning. Um, but yeah, I have a huge level lead, so it shouldn't be that important. It is important, of course, not having your Unite move, but I also can get this in the ace and uh, create a lot of pressure for my team since three people were kind of chasing me. And now three of them are dead. We see two of them bot lane, and me and Lucario just decide to burst it against Seth Rock. Great damage. We have Fluffy Tail. We have Lucario. So I really I really enjoy playing with Lucario this game. He paid very, very attention to me doing objectives and just helping me do them. He secured every Dreadnought. He helped me secure Zapdos. And yeah. This is just how you create a lot of pressure as Krasse and also stuff the enemies of experience, right? Like, I, I took so many of their buffs that they just missed so much experience that we just perma overleveled, and I could use that experience to go into Dreadnought fights and just secure those objectives as well. So, this is toxic Krasse, but not as toxic as normally. Like, I didn't really score many, many points, but I still created so much pressure on them that, yeah, my team had a lot of room to do things and create a lot of opportunities. So, yeah. We still ended up having a good amount of damage as well. Um, we actually kind of won 4v5, as you saw, like the episode was AFK still. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!